Guys, it's Jacob with 1096 Cycling. Guys, I got my hands on the Polar Verity Sense optical heart rate sensor. Y'all know I have a little bit of a heart rate monitor problem, okay? Uh, all of my heart rate monitors are uh, electrode based. I don't know if that's the word, but this one is optical sensor based. I also have a Garmin watch, which is optical sensors, and it's super accurate. It's like junk in terms of the heart rate stuff. So I don't, uh, I don't trust it at all. It's not accurate. So I had zero expectations coming into this thing, but I want to talk about who I think this is good for. I think this is, I don't want to, final thoughts are later, but I think it's good for everybody. So let's uh, dig into this thing. Let's talk about the pros. Let's talk about the cons. And uh, I'll tell you what I think, guys. See you on minute. Okay, guys, here's what's in the box. I've already taken everything out of the box, obviously, but it comes with this really cute little mesh bag. This is adorable. What's cool, I like that it's mesh because um, when I work out with this bad boy, it um, gets really wet because I'm kind of a fat kid and I sweat a lot. No offense to you fat kids out there, but I uh, is and was a uh, fat kid. I was literally in marching band, so I wouldn't have to take PE in uh, high school. All right, so the irony. Th look at this bad boy. Here it is. In the box, this is what you're going to get. It's on right now. That's why we have all the uh, sensors on. Turn those off. Power button's on the side there. But, um, yeah, th when it comes in the box, this is what it's going to look like. That thing's going to be separate because that's the sensor, and this is what the strap looks like here. Okay, expands even if you've got a pretty big arm, uh, you can wear that bad boy. Here is your uh, swimming device, your uh, what do they call it? Strap, uh, goggle strap mount. You plug this thing into that, like so, and boom, you're ready to go. You just put that on your uh, your uh, goggle strap, okay. So I've turned it back on, it's activated, this thing is rocking and rolling, ready to go. So that's what the actual sensor looks like. I'm gonna put it right back in here, uh, just like this. Boom, and it's back, and it's ready to go, okay? Um, check it out, guys, this thing is super cool. Uh, as far as like price and stuff goes, it uh, goes for $89.95 on the Polar website. I couldn't really find it for much cheaper than that. Uh, and honestly, in the end, in terms of what it does, I believe it's um, a very, very fair price. So let's uh, move on to the pros. See you on a second. Okay, guys, so now that you've seen what's in the box, let's talk a little bit about the pros. Uh, we'll talk about the cons here in a second, and I'll put chapters down at the bottom down there so y'all can kind of tab around if you're not interested in the pros. But, um, okay, like I said, this thing has internal memory. <clears throat> Maybe I didn't say that, but now I am. So basically, the, the workouts will be stored in this if you wanted to. So let's say you're not using a uh, fitness watch or a bike computer, okay? Because you can connect to a bike computer or a fitness watch. Um, you can just store them in here and then download them later. That's really cool if you don't have something nearby to track that with, okay? Um, the battery pros on this is huge. If you go look at my other heart rate monitor reviews, batteries are a big deal, maybe a big issue for me. This thing is really awesome because it's rechargeable. Um, basically, uh, in the box, there is the little USB port that you plug into either uh, an outlet with an adapter or uh, like I plug it into my, I use this at work primarily uh, when I work out at work and uh, I plug it into my computer at work and charge it there. Charges extremely fast and uh, yeah, I've noticed it's gotten me at least 30 hours so far, okay? Uh, it is waterproof up to 50 meters. That is important for you uh, swimming folks out there, all right? Like I said, it came with the um, swim adapter here. Basically, it's like a goggle clip. You can uh, take this thing out of here, pop it off, and uh, then you can slide it into your um, into your clip thing here, like boom, and then you're ready to go. Clips into your straps up here. Okay, I'm not a swimmer, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about accuracy for a minute. Okay, what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna show y'all um, a picture of 
to the same workout. One is gonna be done with the Polar H10, the world's most accurate heart rate monitor. We'll review that later, okay? Check it out later. It's not ready yet. And uh, versus the Polar Verity, okay? So insert the photos here. The first one is gonna be the H10 workout. The second one is gonna be the Verity Sense workout. Okay, so looking at those, guys, I am so impressed. Sorry, I'm putting this thing back together. I am so impressed with uh, the the lack of difference. It's actually accurate. So notice here, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sensors. If you look at my uh, Garmin watch, it has three LED sensors. I'm assuming that has to do with the accuracy. Polar, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But uh, it's really accurate. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk more about that later, but it gets me excited. Sorry, I'm getting excited about how accurate this thing is because it's really cool. Uh, it has 150 meter range. So like you can be away from your watch or your phone or your device, whatever you're recording with, and it's gonna pick up a signal from 150 meters. I think that's like, I don't know, 300, 450 feet approximately. And it has 16 gig, no gigs, is gigs a lot? 16 megabytes, uh, you data nerds, correct me if I'm wrong. 16 megabytes of memory. I think that's a lot for just a workout device. Okay, so um, let's get into the pros. No, that was the pros. Let's get into the cons. See you in a minute. Okay, what are the cons? This is going to be a short section because there are none. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding, actually. There really aren't. Uh, like I said, I'm also currently playing with the uh, Polar H10. little shameless plug there because that video is coming up. But uh, I, I, if there's any con to this thing at all, is that maybe it's a little delayed on the data. So like, if you look back at those uh, charts that I showed you, the heart rate data, that's about as dorky as I get, and y'all know it, um, is that it, it, it's, it may be delayed in the response. So when I do my interval, it takes a second to catch up, whereas the H10 is, I, I think, live data. It's, it's accurate with what my heart's actually doing in the moment. If that makes sense. Um, other cons, I can't think of any. That's it. This thing's super cool. It's just a matter of how do you want to measure heart rate. Do you want to use an optical sensor or do you want to use uh, whatever those are? I don't know what you call those. So, electric electrodes. Elect elect. Anyway. Okay. My final thoughts. What is this thing good for? How about I answer it with a question? What is this not good for? I'm so excited about this because as a cyclist and someone that's trying to get better at cycling, I'm currently doing a lot more um, gym work, okay? A lot more squats, burpees, lunges, uh, just things like that. And I'm finding that this thing works really well for that stuff. I'm gonna throw it on, okay? And this is where I wear it. Boom, wow, check those out crit racer for life okay i wear it up here it makes my arms look fat but uh, i wear it right there and i don't notice this thing at all okay and so uh, i find that for my gym workouts it's really good because it's out of the way um, up here i'm not wearing the strap that feels awkward when i'm doing like if i do burpees or i'm doing sit-ups and things like that i notice it Another thing is that it's accurate enough that I would use this for a cycling workout and I actually use it for my cardio workouts when I'm at work. We have a spin bike there, one of those assault swim bikes. I ride that and I use this and that's where I got that data from in the charts uh, for those intervals. I do those with this. The cool thing is I can go from that workout straight into my uh, gym work with the same heart rate monitor and it's giving me extremely accurate data, which is awesome. I would argue that this watt, this watch, this heart rate monitor is great for anyone that's into um, CrossFit, into gym work, even if you're like a weightlifter, if you're into jujitsu, uh, BJJ, if you do any kind of thing where you want to track your heart rate but you don't want to wear a monitor, this is for you. I'm sorry, I'm getting excited about it. This is for you, okay? You need to try this thing out. Um, I plan on getting another one of these if and when this thing stops working because I've enjoyed it uh, so much. It, it really is cool, it looks good, and, and the rechargeable battery is a huge plus for me. So with that said, I'm gonna go do some squats because it's the off season and I need to get strong. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching the video. 
please subscribe to the channel because I just want to get a shameless plug, a thousand subscribers so we can try to monetize this thing and I can make like four bucks. It'd be really cool. Anyway, guys, like I said, going to work out. See y'all later.